first Jamaican, the first Olympian. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> yes, and I love being first, so that was also great to be the first Jamaican and the first Olympian on the show. It's really cool. So I'm at uh, the Pen Relays today working for ESPN. So ESPN now covers the Pen Relays. It used to be NBC, who I also still work for. But it was really nice to come back. You know, you guys know this is a special place, especially for the Jamaicans and Jamaican athletes. So I always love being able to come back here. From track star yes. to Reality housewives <laughs> of Atlanta. Yes. Tell me, did you ever anticipate this happening in your life? And how did this come about? Well, I had done reality TV once before, and I always said I would leave the door open to do it again because I didn't. I thought it was a good experience. I never thought I would be on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's the number one reality show on Bravo TV, and I had barely moved to Atlanta. I was just going there to start doing a new TV show, and when they reached out, I was like, oh my gosh, is this something that I want to do, and what would it entail? And we went through the process and I thought it was going to be a great new opportunity for me. I like to do things where my heart beats not on my chest <laughs> and things that stretch me. So I felt like it checked both of those boxes. So I was excited about it. Are you the first Jamaican to I be on the this show? First Jamaican, the first Olympian. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> yes, and I love being first. So that was also great to be the first Jamaican and the first Olympian on the show. It's really cool. I think that I bring um, black excellence. I bring a lot of rich culture being from Jamaica because I share a lot of my family life and extended family. My mom and dad are on the show, my sister's on the show, my nephews, my son. Um, and I think I bring some balance to the show, you know, like what I realized being on the show is that it's a very real, real show. And these are women who are A personality types, who have big personalities and you know, they have their point of views. And so at the end of the day, I really want to show up authentically as myself. I wanted to show up and stand my ground on the things that I believe in. And I feel like this season on The Housewives was a very good blend of family, of friendship, and then of course, the drama. <laughs> <laughs> How much of your culture, your heritage is going to be shown on this show? One of the first times that I hang out with all the ladies, we have a Jamaican cooking class. So my mom actually leads the class and we teach them how to make curry chicken. And then probably the biggest highlight for me was that I got to bring the ladies to Jamaica. So we got to Jamaica, I took them to Kingston, I took them where I used to live, we got to Montego Bay, and it was like the highlight of our season. It was kind of our big, you know, all cast trip. So a lot of Jamaica is on there, and I hope that you guys will watch it and support and really love to see our family on the platform. So the first episode is actually this Sunday, May 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern on Bravo. But it's going to be about 17 to 20 weeks long. So we'll be on the air every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Don't miss it. Tell your friends. Tell Jamaica I must pull up and show out because I feel like I'm going to represent well. How much do you think this will do for brand Jamaica? Yeah, well, at the end of the day, what I wanted to do when I was on this platform was to continue to show young, especially young black girls, that opportunities are endless, right? After you're done running, sometimes you don't know what you're going to do next, or you're in one career path, and it's like, how do I use those same skill sets to do something else? And so for me, being the first athlete and the first Jamaican, it just opens up more doors for all of us, right? People can see that we can excel in any arena. And so for me, it really is about showing up and, you know, making sure that I made uh, my my name and, you know, making sure I put some respect on my name in the show. And, is your husband on the show as yeah, well? Yeah, my husband's on the show a lot. Tell us who your husband is again. Yes, my husband is Aaron Ross, two-time Super Bowl champ for the New York Giants. Um, and just the, a wonderful human being. I was very blessed to meet him in college and we continue our relationship. We've been married now for like 12 years. And so, yes, he also plays a big role on the show. He is the balance, you know, I'm the crazy one and he's the calm. And I think, you know, for people who have been following us for a long time, this will be a really um, intimate look into our relationship and our family life. Are you involved in any charities that's Jamaican? Yeah, so I think for me, probably one of the big, 
biggest full circle moments for me happened in 2007. Uh, when I was competing for Team USA, I was approached by a gentleman who wanted to start to, to start a program in Jamaica to help with literacy, right? I always used to say the biggest benefits outside of, of course, the people, the culture, the food, everything in Jamaica was the education I received when I came to the States. And when I heard illiteracy was, illiteracy was rising um, in Jamaica, I wanted to do something. And so we partnered up and USAID gave us over $30,000 and we invested that in the Sonia Richards Ross Fast Track program that ran for almost 10 years in Jamaica. And probably one of the most rewarding things for me was when a young man reached out to me about about two years ago now. He was a part of the program. He got a scholarship to the University of Alabama, went on to get his degree and he said it was all started and was sparked for him through the program. So when I tell you Jamaica always has held a very, very, very sacred part in my heart and Every time I come back, I visit Vaz and I talk to the kids and I bring them sneakers and you know I do everything that I can with my resources and like I said, every platform I'm on, I always say, carry one go Jamaica, one do this and it was no different with the Real Housewives in Atlanta. It was very important to me if I was going to get a chance to bring the crew anywhere that it came to Jamaica and just highlighted how amazing the island is and everything that we have to offer. Do you know how many viewers the show has? Oh man, the show has millions of viewers. Um, it is the number one reality TV show on Bravo. It's their number one show, so they get. I know the once upon a time get three, four million. I know TV kind of changed a little bit, but still millions of viewers. So I'm gonna tune in, run the numbers up, <laughs> um, and represent for Jamaica.